Alright mates, today we're going to talk about perch and crawfish. I have two Juno perch and two baby blue crawfish that I caught. And I've got a 85 litre tank with some the gravel and um, I just fed them. I fed them some live worms. And I have some guppy grass. Some, I don't remember that name of those plants. I got air, air, air stone, and I have a um, pump, quick Qu filter. I and I forgot I have a brisk nose plucker in here also. Um, I would. Alright, I'm, I'm going to tell you how to take care of um, perch and crawfish. So, um, yeah. As I said, I had two perch, two juvenile perch, two baby crawfish. Baby blue crawfish that I caught and a brisk nose plecker. And you should have at least 20 liters per fish, per perch, and the crawfish just it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't need any like you can have it in a bowl, you just need some cover and um. For food, you can give perch live worms, live minnows, live crawfish, like whatever. You can give whatever. I feed my perch live worms and sometimes minnows when I get minnows. So, yeah, this is a pretty basic basic setup for a perch seem to love it should let you should have a male and female but I have I have two males so they're fine sometimes but yeah they don't die yep, they're fine on camera mm, they, you should at least you should have a um, airstone because in the perch needs a lot of oxygen and you should have a pretty good filter and I got a pretty good filter right there so um, yeah and you should have a catfish and some crawfish the crawfish I just dropped down a piece of worm right there and the crawfish is coming around the corner. Yeah, he should eat. I. So the aquarium should be at least fifteen degrees Celsius. Did I say fifty or fifteen? At least fifteen. You can go twenty. I think I got like twenty-two degrees Celsius in here. Seems to love it. And um, go with gravel. You can go with anything actually. And if you fight, if you feed them like minnows, you have to fight. You have to feed them some just sometimes. I. I was used to feed some guppy fry. Mega seems pretty bizarre, but that's what it is. They eat live food. So you have to do what you gotta do. Shit, he just took. He just snagged the thing out of the crawfish claws. No, you don't. That little stupid fish just took from my little cute crawfish right there. 
But yeah, I think you should at least have a 85 gallon, 85 liter tank and some light plants, air, air stone, air filter. I mean, um, a filter. I would go with gravel so the um, crawfish can dig. So look at gravel. But, um, yeah. That's what a patch looks like. If you're trying to get into patch um, hobby, like keeping wild fish. I would definitely go with like I would start with like perch or roach because they are pretty basic. I think I'm getting a baby pike too. But you should do a comment if you want more tips. And um look, he's digging. I'm just gonna remove his. Can I get it on camera? Can you lift another stone? Yeah, but it just made that little tower right there. But I think I'm gonna end off this video with a live. With a. Um, a live worm. So, yeah, I'm fixing the live one right now. Where, where are they going? Can some of them go for it? No? Can somebody come in front of the camera? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. We took the one. This one right there too, mate. Well, yeah, if you want more tips and tricks, you can go and follow my Instagram. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the name in the description. So um, yeah. Hope you like the care of perch. Oh, and um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.